Hey guys, uh, welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll do a quick overview on working with files. And um, I suppose the first thing we'll learn is called F Open, which stands for File Open. And we do a file name. Uh, you can make one up. So I'll just call mine data.txt. And the second parameter is the mode. Uh, there's quite a few modes uh, R, W, uh, A, X, and they all have uh, plus options also. R is for reading, W for writing, A for appending, and X, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty sure you'll be using, uh, boy, it's, I don't use files too often these days. Um, R plus is reading and writing. Um, w plus is reading and writing, but also it will create the file if it doesn't exist. A is append and, um, I can't remember what A plus is. Anyways. Uh, for this, let's just do W plus so that we can read and write the file and create it um, if it doesn't exist. So refresh your page and then go to the directory and you'll see there's data there. Okay. Now we have this file that we want to work with. Let's give this a handle. Let's call it a, a H. Um, I suppose what we want to do is uh, write to the file first since it's empty. And that's done with F write. And what are we writing to? The H, uh, the handle. And then the text to insert. And refresh the page and open the file and there it is. Uh, you can also uh, check if it worked. Uh, fwrite will return a boolean and you can do if fwrite equals false um, echo error writing but obviously we're not getting any errors um, usually I don't have a problem with this so I just leave it how it is some data um, to the file real quick manually I'm just going to change that to read and write so we've got some uh, sample data and one thing that we don't want to forget is to close the file so we don't waste resources um, like that after we're done using it. So let's get the file line by line. Um, let's do a while loop. Um, and FEOF stands for file, end of file, I believe and while we're not at the end of the file what do we want to do we want to uh, f gets handle and echo there it is and it prints that out now when you're working with files these new lines uh, in windows um, are slash R I believe and Linux are slash N um, one or the other so maybe you want to do uh, string replace um, slash R with BR and there you have that. That's if you're on Windows. 
um, and your server is probably on Linux so you're going to want a better string replace than this because you're going to have to replace uh, probably both of them just to be safe anyways that's how we get uh, each file line by line let's do uh, file append and I am going to do let's see re and a plus for append and write I think um, and let's do f write handle um, we want to do a new line so do backslash r even more 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 stuff and I'll refresh and the data file it added it in there I wonder why this didn't parse oh you want to add double quotes for it to um, parse this as a literal uh, entity that makes a new line okay so you can do all that stuff there's also a, a nice little feature called file put contents and basically what this does is it does f open f right f close all in one um, so let's make a file called demo and uh, you can put any text here refresh and then open up the demo file it created and there it is um, there is also if you want to uh, do file get contents and just the name of the file demo.txt and we'll echo that out and there it is uh, once again you'd have to string replace uh, the uh, new lines to line breaks in HTML and uh, I suppose that's good for now I'm not gonna put a lot of emphasis on files uh, at least for now I think the most interest for people is uh, databases and I'm trying to move towards that pretty quickly so if you find I'm moving along too fast uh, post a comment and maybe I could go over some uh, other basics if you need help alright